Hello, my name is Richard Gilbert. I'm a control engineer at Haskell. We're down here at Haskell's Research Development Lab in Burbank, and I want to give you a quick tour of our newest technology in gas boosting. Uh, this is the Q-Drive. High efficiency, uh, brought to you by the permanent magnet technology. Um, first off, let's just take a look at the small footprint. This is a standalone system. Uh, the idea is plug and play. The footprint is eight foot by three feet deep. Um, what you'll have to do here once this thing gets shipped to you is you'll be required to supply two things to this, coolant and power. So let's just take a walk through that. Over here we have our 480 volt drop and we have our chiller outside. That's uh, the chiller is connected to the bulkhead in the back. Every unit will be shipped out with this quick disconnect. So all you have to do is bring power to this plug her in, turn her on. Uh, while this is powering up, let me just pop this cover off here and we'll take a look at the lubrication circuit. The servo drive is lubricated with a synthetic gear oil and that uh, also provides cooling. That is going through this lubrication circuit powered by this three-quarter horse motor. The oil is cooled down at this pleated, plated heat exchanger, and the coolant is diverted by these smart solenoids, either bypassing the coolant to go directly to the gas sections or keeping the oil viscosity at its ideal temp, uh, the oil at the ideal temp. Uh, the oil also goes through these two filters, and during uh, every 2,000 hours of service, it will replace the oil filters and uh, replace the oil. Uh, up top here, let's just go through the gas sections. Right now we're looking at a single stage, double acting gas booster. This is the QGD90. Um, again, here's your cooling, cooling uh, circuit going through the cooling jackets. Uh, your servo drive. Uh, we have our distance piece gas section. The distance piece ensures there is no oil getting into your gas section. The oil is operating at lower than 30 PSI. This is the heat exchanger. We can use this as a pre-chiller. We can use it as an after-chiller. In a two-stage configuration where we take the first stage, we'll store it inside a interstage vessel that gets cooled down by the seat exchanger as well before it enters your second stage and then downstream to your application. So uh, let's just turn this thing on. Uh, each system does come equipped with the Allen Bradley PLC product, Rockwell Automation. Uh, let me get this other cover out too. A few levels of security in here uh, management technician service I'm going to log in with the highest level of security this is where you can set up the parameters for your application and I'll run through that quickly here so we're logging into the home screen for now I'm just going to put in a compressor mode I'm going to set my target pressure to about 3,000 psi and I'm going to set my dead band uh, at 2400 PSI. It's going to kick back on. So we're going to kick her on. Right now in your first, uh, after every power cycle, it's going to go through its uh, initiation, initialization phase. It's actually homing, uh, touching the, end the piston ends to each end cap. With the accuracy of the encoder and the servo drive, we can virtually uh, we can say there's there's no unswept volume at the end at the end. Here. That's where we get our high efficiency as well. So right now I'm going 10 cycles a minute. You do have rate control. Uh, I'm going to kick it on to 50 cycles a minute. Right now it's going to try to reach 3,000 psi. Once it does, it's going to kick off. And as something's getting uh, depleted downstream, it's gonna wait till it hits that lower dead band and kick back on. It can do this all day long, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I also wanna just demonstrate for you the quiet 
quietness here, I have a dB meter. I'm gonna set this pressure up so it's just gonna run like a closed root loop, like an extraction process. So this thing's just gonna run. Uh, right now I have my dB meter. Uh, I'm talking right now, it's about 80 plus. I'm gonna stop talking and let's just listen to the Q drive and see what this spits out. So we're at, you know, right around 77 decibels. Uh, we're at max speed. If we wanted to kick it down even, I mean, let's just take it down to a lower cycle rate, like 10 cycles a minute. Your sound decibels are going to drop off as well. Um, at any time, you can stop the drive. So I'm just going to stop it. It's going to go into park. It's going to release the gas energy and shut down safely. Let's just start her back up. We're going to start up in 50 cycles a minute. So now if I wanted to stop it at any time or, or pause it at any time without venting, we can do that. Start back up. Stop. For whatever reason you wanted to. If there is any sort of emergency that you need to take care of, you can eat stop it at any time. And it will shut down safely. I mean, that's it here. Uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, let's just start her back up. And thank you very much for joining today.